Hey, what is going on? This is LaPrentice. I help health conscious consumers replace toxic products in their life so they can achieve true wellness. And people are asking me this question. They're saying, hey, isn't smart water just distilled water? And ultimately, I want to say, yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. So I actually have some here with me um, right before I'm about to do some more tests with it. And um, yeah, this is vapor distilled water pretty much. And so what that means is that they're steaming the water pretty much or steaming it and collecting the steam and then allowing it to drip over and get it go into another container. All right. So because of that, that makes the water very uh, acidic, right? Because you leave all the, the minerals, all the nutrients behind, right? And so they have to add stuff to it. So while it is essentially distilled water, they're adding stuff to it, right? So um, some of the things that they're adding here is calcium chloride, right? And so that's pretty much like your salt that you use at the ice roads, all right? So you want to keep that in mind. Um, you got magnesium chloride, which is um, it's another manufactured salt, right? It's, it's a, another inorganic salt that they add in here. Um, and then of course we have potassium bicarbonate, which is a replacement for the baking soda, baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, right? And so they're adding these things in here, the sodium uh, bicarbonate or potassium bicarbonate in this case, it, um, all these things that they're adding is to try to give it a taste. Um, at the same time though, our body has a tough time breaking these things down. And so it's really not recommended for us to go ahead and consume a lot of these waters for long periods of time. Like um, if a short period of time, yes, that's fine. Um, but a lot of things in this water and then depending on how long you had it, it actually can have a carcinogen known, in here known as xenoestrogen. So we really wanna be mindful of that, especially if you have this bottle of water out in, the, in your car and in the sun, you really don't want to be drinking it. Um, 75% of men and women who end up having breast cancer, they end up having too much xenoestrogen, right? So there's better waters out there. Don't pay for this. I have a book, or I guess it's more like a report that's out there on the five properties of the healthy water, right? Five properties. So I highly recommend um, just checking it out, you know, so you can know what you're drinking and not only that, know what your body needs and why, <laughs> and kind of be uh, smart <laughs> on the waters that you're drinking, right? So, um, I guess last but not least, so remember if you change your water, you can change your world. If you are interested in learning more about health and wellness and different tips from me, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll look forward to catching you later, all right? Take care.